When I call Manuel and he answers, our conversation actually starts with an initialization sequence. In networking, it's exactly the same thing, but we call it a three-way handshake. To learn more, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the other side of this. Manuel. Hi. Yes, it's me, Isaac. Yeah, I can hear you. Hey, I'm great, man. How's things down there? In the conversation that I had with Manuel, when I called him and he answered, I sent him a message. I said, hi, Manuel. On his side, he acknowledged that and he went, hi, who is that you, Isaac? And I said, yeah, it's me. It's Isaac. After we had gone through that sequence, we then began our conversation. And so in networking, we do the same thing. When when I, as a client, uh, my computer, as a browser, for example, when it navigates to www.extremenetworks.com, it sends a packet. It sends. It needs to synchronize. Okay, initialize this conversation between myself and the web server. So it sends a synchronization packet to the web server. When the web server gets it, it does what what Manuel did. It acknowledges that. It says, hi, is that Isaac? So I send it a synchronization request. It acknowledges that and sends back its own synchronization request. And I then acknowledge that synchronization request. And from there on, we start a conversation. In networking, we like to talk about reliable connections and reliable protocols. And one of them is TCP, the, the, the language, the common language that we use to move information across the internet. So when my client talks to the web server, it's going to send lots of packets, lots of requests. And when the web server gets them, it needs to know how to sequence them, how to reassemble them on that side. So when I say hi in human language, I just say hi, Manuel. But a computer says hi and it says my sequence number is 10,000. Just a random number. The server on, on the other side, when it, when it receives that packet, it acknowledges packet 10,000 and then it says Hey, I acknowledge this packet and I'm now ready for packet 10,001. So it increments that sequence number by, by one. And at the same time, it sends its own SYN. So I send a synchronization request, a SYN information to initialize this conversation. The server gets this request, acknowledges the sequence number, and then generates its own sequence number so that my client can keep track of its information. And it sends that, and we call that a SYNAC. So I send a SYN, the server sends a SYNAC. When I get it, it says, oh, it's received 10,000, it's now looking for 10,001 and it sent its own SYN with a random sequence number, let's say 60,000. So I then acknowledge the server's sequence number and I say, I now acknowledge that packet 60,000 and I'm now ready for packet 60,001. And from that point onwards, every packet that goes between our two machines will have a sequence number that's incremented by one. That is called the three-way handshake.